Uh, stepped out in space and it was nothing. But then he said in the beginning, he created something out of nothing. Come on somebody. And I said, Lord, y'all, you got to learn how to humble yourself and walk in humility. One thing that I do not I said, Lord, I just want to walk in humbleness to God and softness, amen, in the spirit of the living God. And you all need to do the same thing. Amen. Moses was one of the meekest men on earth. Ah, the Bible said, don't boast about yourself. Yes. Boast about the things of others. You know why? Because it keeps you humble. And it keeps you walking in God. And that's tell God about what God did for brother so-and-so and sister so-and-so. And this will help you to walk in humility. I began to listen to how this mother came to Jesus. Lord, when you come into your kingdom, can you put my son, my this son on the left or put the other son on the right? Jesus says, not mine to give. He said, can they indeed bear and do the cross that I have to bear, the burden that I have to bear? See, we always want bigger and better things, but we don't want to go through to get to it. The Bible said too much is given, much is required. Yes. It's a lot of time things that happens in our life that God said, okay, I'm going to see what you're going to do if I let this allow this to happen. Mm. All you can do is be like Hezekiah. Turn your face to the wall yes. and begin to cry out to God. God, I can't do nothing without you. Amen. Amen. And we need to rely on him more and more, even in this day and time that we're living in. That even with our president and vice president, Lord, help them. Continue to give them wisdom. Bow your heads, women. Father God, I thank you for all things in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for our leaders today. God, my God, give them wisdom and knowledge. And Lord God, and understanding. Lord, help them. God, to lead this country the way you want them to lead it. God, in the name of Jesus, bind the hands of the evil ones. They're trying to bring depression on the poor people. Bind their hands, God. In the name of Jesus, every law that they try to pass. Lord God, to bind and bring a burden to the poor. Bind it in the name of Jesus. And God, we praise you for it right now. God, this word that I'm getting ready to expound to you people, I ask you to help each and every one to take it to themselves. Not to rake it over to sister or brother, but to rake it to them. To eat of your word, God. And I forever praise you and bless your name. Let it bring forth a hundredfold. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, guys, on January the 7th, fasting. Amen. Please do not start before everybody else. I want all of us to be in unity with that. Listen. You can eat y'all, y'all lay y'all chicken aside and meat for 21 days. Come on. <laughs> eat vegetables and fruit. Come on. Amen. Eat don't no bread. Somebody said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> See, flesh. That flesh would cry out, say, Lord, I, I love my bread. I love my cake. Come on, y'all. Can you sacrifice the Jesus for 21 days? Come on, somebody. Eat all the vegetables and you feel like yourself getting weak. Throw a baked potato in there. Not every day, but throw one in there every now and then. Amen. Let's go this 21 days because we want God to flourish. P-O-G-P. Amen. With souls that they would be saved and come into the kingdom of God. I remember my daughter telling me, she said, Mom, I saw you with all Y'all, that's me because I love people. All this fruit, she didn't even see how I can carry it. It was on there. Represents me souls. And that's what I love. People and love souls. Amen? Amen. Get your Bibles and turn. And if you get weak, say, Lord, have mercy, God. Y'all read the Bible. Let me tell you, while you're on your 21-day fast, please read. Read your Bible. Stay, stay in the word of God and pray. And you will see something at the end of those 21 days. How God going to turn things around. Amen. 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 Go with me to the book of Ephesians. I want to talk to you a little bit about. Amen. A new beginning or a hit the reset button in your life. 
It's time to start over with Ephesians. Ephesians, Ephesians. y'all got it? The fourth chapter. When you get the fourth chapter, say amen, Pastor. Amen, Pastor. All right, I'm waiting on some of the other ones. I'll wait for you. So over there by, you got Galatians, Corinthians, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, and then Ephesians. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let's just honor God by standing up and saying, we know that this is coming out of the word of God. And we know that this is God's true word. Amen. And I know some of y'all, when y'all got that text message saying that I'm not going to have a night watch night service, yes, I that's not in my spirit. In my spirit, create a, a closet, a prayer closet in your own home. Yes. You don't have to come to church for everything and tradition and doctrine of man. Come on, somebody. I got to make it in the house of God. Learn how to lay on your face at home. And I say, I'm getting all my children, all of them together. And we're going to pray. Amen for this new year coming up. Amen. Because it's going to be some challenges, but it's also going to be some successes. Amen. Go with me to the fourth chapter. Amen. Y'all people, y'all got to get excited about Jesus too. Amen. Because y'all going to need him in school. That's going to be some things taking place at these schools. Listen to what I'm getting ready to tell you. Young people, get your eyes on God. And tell I'm telling you. Amen. Things, strange things is going to happen this year. But listen, with God protecting us, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning with the first verse. Can you just read with me until I tell you to stop? I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk. Come on. Okay, I'm taking my time. Y'all can be seated. I'm going to take my time with this. <laughs> It said, Paul said, and was writing to the Ephesian church. He said, listen, boys. He said, I therefore, the prisoner, listen, of the Lord, I beg you, I beseech you, that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Let me give you some clarification. I remember when... Um, um, uh, brother was, had said something about reconciliation and Bacar said, Nana, what does that mean? I said, that means I had to explain it to him. So children, listen up. Vocation. He said, Paul said, I dare for the prisoner. Let me tell you what a prisoner is and we always say this. A person that is held in custody. How many know when you be arrested by the Holy Ghost you can't help but to walk like Jesus walk. And the talk so Paul said, I've been captivated by Jesus. Amen. Amen. And he said, I got restraints, a forcible restraints that keep me but being free to do anything what this flesh wants to do. He said, for I am a prisoner of the Lord, yet captive, but yet free. Do y'all understand that? <laughs> because whom the Son set free, they are free indeed. Freedom comes on the inside of your spirit. Do you know that's where freedom began? Amen. When remember when the slave, oh freedom, freedom, freedom. Lord, free, and that old master would beat them physically. But in their mind, they were saying that a brighter day is coming. Somebody better say, and they started singing over my head. I hear music in the air because you know what? They were looking for a day of freedom physically. Somebody better say amen. Sin is another captivity that keeps you bound. Bind your hands, your mind, your flesh. Everything sin will keep you in bondage. And that's the reason the Bible says, lay aside every sin and the way which does so easily beset us and let us run this race that is set before us. Amen? Amen. Paul said, I'm therefore the prisoner of the Lord. I beg you that you walk worthy 
of the vocation. Vocation is some of you that said, well, God called me to preach. God called me to do this. God called me to do that. And we not living like God want us to live. Ooh, ouch, y'all. That's, whew. Vocation is a calling of an individual by God for a particular purpose. If you have declared that God called you to be a certain thing or do a certain thing in the house of the Lord, then Paul said, what were they? Of the vocation, vocation wherewith ye are called. When God called you, he called you for a reason. Amen. When Paul said in Ephesians 3 and 3 and 1, he said, For this call, I call the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentile. Paul said, I'm here to preach and to tell you about the word of God, about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? amen. Listen at what else he said. He said, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, preparing one another. What in what? Oh God, that's come on somebody. He said, with all loneliness and meekness, let us walk in humility. Let us cover ourselves in humility and have long suffering, forbearing one another in love. People, let me tell you, become a prisoner of Jesus Christ. The saying that you know what, I'm going to walk like he walk. I'm going to talk like he talk. Because let me say this to you. Those of you that don't lay down those things that have you in bondage in January the 1, you're going to wrestle with that thing for the rest of the year, trying to get rid of it. You're going to be saying, Lord, Give me God, I said, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. All during the year, you're going to be vexed and tormented because you didn't give it up for FY 2017. And you're going to be saying, Lord, oh my God, Pastor said this. I, I, I don't know, sometimes when I tell people something, isn't that right, dear Ron? And then they go and do the things I tell them not to do. And then you suffer the consequences. And they go for everybody in this church, for us all. Let us all be obedient to the Spirit of God. Isn't that right, you all? Come on, say amen. amen. With all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, people. You are your brother's keeper. Please stop tormenting each other, talking about each other, lying on each other, trying to get people to be something that they are not. It takes God to change an individual. He said, endeavoring to keep that unity of the what? Spirit in the bond of peace. Jesus told you, he said, listen, let your feet you, your feet have to have that gospel of peace in order for you to walk in the walkway of God. Listen, people. I don't know about you, but I want to have peace Amen. this year. Amen. I want to show for more love. Amen. I want to have unity of the spirit. Because when people come into a church, first thing they want to feel the unity of the people and the love that the people have. If they see this one, treat this one any kind of way, please change your habits. Change them. Say, God, take that away from me. People want to feel the love. They want to feel the unity. They want to feel the body of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. The Bible tells us that there is what? One body? Come on. One spirit? Even as you are called in one hope of your calling. Please know people that you cannot get out of this. There is not but one body. The Bible tells us that also that there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Paul began to tell us, that, listen, y'all, 
Because the Ephesians want to separate themselves. They want to do what they want to do. Paul was encouraging them. He said, listen, you got to keep the unity of the spirit. Come on, somebody. Amen. And somebody come up to you and say something about Sister so and so say, you know what? Don't, don't say that about it. Just pray for him. Don't say that about him. Pray for him. Pray for God to do a work in their lives. And this is what we have to say. And we have to be. There is one body. One spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Can somebody say amen? amen? Then he went on to say one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. The oneness of God. When Jesus said, he said, my father and I, we agree as one. You got the Father, you got the Word, you got the Spirit. They all work in close unity. If you separate one to try to get them to stand on their own by themselves, you're going to pull in the other one. Those three bear witness in heaven. Amen. Amen. The Lord. Amen. Amen. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit of God. We as a church and as POGP, as 2018 is coming, let us get out of ourselves and let us put on the mind of Jesus Christ. Let us serve our brothers and sisters in humbleness and humility. And I remember um, uh, this brother, uh, Brother Theron wanted me to, he said, well, Pastor, I want to be able to wash the saints' feet. Let me tell you, washing the saints' feet is a, is, is a, is a, a manifestation of, of humility and humbleness. Amen. Washing each other's feet means that you're serving one another. Amen. That's the lesson that Jesus wants you to get out of that. Amen. Amen. We can physically do it, but what it is that Jesus said, I want you to follow me as, as he was following the, the principles of the Father. He got down and he washed only his disciples' feet, the leaders. Listen, y'all hear me? And he did it for a reason. He said, because you leaders and the leaders of this church, you're going to serve the people of God. Come on. That's what it's for. Amen. And we need to understand that when we get a, 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 a metamorphosis of something that is not what it appeared to be. And I love the way this person tell, was telling about this worm and how this caterpillar and how they had so many different problems and they laughed at, oh, you got so many legs, look at that, look at that. But sooner or later, when that transformation took place, yeah. <laughs> it came out to be a beautiful butterfly yeah. and that can fly yeah. and turn. Uh -huh. See, God wants us to be a beautiful person that we can love, we can love each other, and we can help and pray for each other. Yeah. Let us put our differences aside yeah. in our spirit. Right. Amen. Yeah. Listen, before we begin a new year, we need to put the old year behind us. Amen. Only as we forgive others, and forgive ourselves that we have a happy new year. Amen. 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 Y'all better listen to the word I'm saying. Yeah. Forgiveness is one of the most significant things there are. Listen, anybody, I would tell anybody, if I did anything to eat anybody in this church, please forgive me. Amen. Please forgive me. I, and I know, and I don't believe I did anything wrong, but I got to do it. I'm going to do it because I want to show you what humility is. It's humbling yourself and taking the wrong and doing what's right. That's when you know you're a child of God. That's when you know you're one of His because you can humble yourself and say, brother, if I wrong you, sister, if I wrong you, please forgive me. Because I want to be right with God. Only the Bible said the pure heart shall see God. Somebody better say amen. amen. That word would break away all of that and break up that fellow ground. Hey, your whole side. And that seed of God can be planted in you. 
All I'm doing is watering the seeds that have been planted in this church. Amen. Please take heed, my brothers and sisters. The only way you can begin a new year, you got to be able to forgive others and forgive yourself. You got to be able to love others and love yourself. Amen. Amen. Paul began to tell us, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Listen to what he's talking about. God loves you all. Let me go back up. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Somebody quickly give me Malachi 2 and 10. And somebody give me 1 Corinthians 8 and 6. I just want to see why did he, one God, and it's a message that God gave me, and I wanted to preach it last Sunday, but I couldn't. Amen, but that's okay. I get around to it. Somebody give me Malachi 2 and 10, and the other one, 1 Corinthians 8 and 6. And if you got it, say, I got it, Pastor. And please, okay, read, please. Malachi 2 and 10. Have we not all one father? Hmm. Have not God created us? Hmm. Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother? Come on, brother. You better. Profaning the covenant of our fathers. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all can Wow. That, that thing. But can you read that over again? Because they need to hear that. Amen. Everybody. Listen. Go, go, with, go with him to Malachi 2 and 10. I want y'all to hear this. If this is not bear witness with the word of God, come on. Lord have mercy. Wait a minute. Let me, let, let me turn over here. But this stuff is so good. That about this, that about to make me want to get up and shout up in this place. Read on, brother. Read. Malachi 2 and 10. Leave him alone. Uh, uh, I told y'all y'all don't need to sit by each other. I didn't do anything. All, all right, all right, all right. That's Read, all. come on. I need to be grown up about it. Okay, thank you. Have we not all one father? Okay, he asking a question. Have we not all one father? Read on. Has not one God created us? Yes. yes. Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother? <laughs> By profaning the Come on. of our father. Uh huh. By profaning, go ahead. The By covenant. profaning the covenant of our fathers. Amen. God gave us a covenant. And that covenant is we supposed to abide by his laws. Amen. 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 Read that 11 and then we'll go on. You go? Yeah, read the 11 verse and that's it. Judah hath dealt treachery. And an abomination is committed in Israel mm -hmm. and in Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned. profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and hath married the daughter of a strange God. Be careful of you when you let God go yes. and marry strangers, yes. strange God. Worshiping this and worshiping that. Amen. Somebody read that. Uh, what that other scripture? First Corinthians what? Eight and six. Eight and six. Read, please. I have it. Thank you. Um, First Corinthians eight and six. But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom all are, are for, of whom are all things, mm -hmm. and we in Him, mm -hmm. and one Lord Jesus Christ, yes. by whom. Are all things, and we by Him. My yeah, that's awesome. That right there, and and and, and say, say that again. I want y'all to get this, and y'all write these scriptures down so you can concentrate on them. Okay. That was First Corinthians eight and six. Read it again. But to us there is but one God. Yes. The Father of whom are all things, mm -hmm. and we in Him. And one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Amen. Amen. You know the Bible said all Sister. things were made by him. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us in first John and St. John, the first chapter. In the beginning, what? Was, was the, the word. word. Can I tell you? In the, the beginning was, was the with word. God. 
And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word was God. The same in the beginning with God. See, God's word is powerful, y'all. It's powerful. All things were created by Jesus Christ. He was that word. Do you know that Jesus was that word that was being spoken out of God's mouth? Come on. That's why the Bible said all things were created by when God said, let there be light. And it was light. Yep. Uh huh. All things were made yes. and created, amen, by Jesus Christ. Amen. He was right there in the bosom of the Father. Somebody better say amen. Amen. A new beginning. And it's time for us to hit the reset button in our life and say, you know what, did? I'm not doing things like I did last year. Amen. 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 I'm going to do it new. Huh? Let me tell you. Either you're going to choose who you're going to serve this day. Either you're going to serve the devil, you're going to serve God. Uh-uh. I'm walking with him. Somebody better say amen. amen. Grab somebody by the hands and say, I'm walking with him. I'm walking with him. Amen. Let me give you a few more scriptures and then I'm going to close. This is, and this is the one thing that I, I love that God has given us and teaching us how we got to show forth love and manifest the love of God. If it's hard for you to frown. Or to smile, which is easier, smile. to frown or to smile. smile? A smile. Amen. And it's easy for you to smile at your brothers and sisters. Get out of that nastiness. Amen. Amen, Amen children. Y'all get yourself together back there. Amen. And listen. Amen. Listen, let me I get a few more scriptures and then I'm going to let you go. If so be, I'm still talking in the book of Ephesians 21. I'm like, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning the what? Form of Formal conversation. Please don't come, come to me when you're mess what you did in 2017. I don't know what, I don't want to know what Pook and them did back then. I don't want to know this not, and that one. Okay. All that is behind us. The Bible said, I press towards the mark. Let me tell you, people would tell you things. You know that stuff again in your spirit? Yes. That's all worrying you? Yeah. Just say, ah, uh, we won. Was it, uh, we said, we said, ah. Run that back. Run that back. I love that. Love it, Tyrese. Run that back, brother. Uh-uh. You, you mean to say something else. God is good. <laughs> Teach people how to tell y'all something. I know that's Teach them. If somebody come up to you with negativity, uh-uh. Yeah, let me tell you about how good God is. Exactly. Stop him right there. Let me tell you how God woke you up this morning. Exactly. Amen. Amen. I don't want to hear about Pookie. I don't want to hear about Shanae and all of them things. I want to hear nothing but the word of God. Can I get a whoop whoop? Can I get an amen? Woo, somebody holler at your girl up here. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'll let you That's what I'm talking about. It said, all right. <laughs> it said, if so be. And I love that, okay. that you put off that conversation, the former conversation, the old what? Man. And then while y'all saying old man, put your name there. The conversation of Carolyn McLean. The old conversation of put your name there. This is, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Somebody better say amen. amen. That you put on the new man. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Somebody better say amen. amen. Let your mind be renewed. If your wife going to complain to you, say, ah, I don't want to hear it. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Somebody better say amen. amen. Don't hear no negativity. Amen. 2018, the number eight means new beginning. You're getting a new start. You're getting a fresh start. And I don't know about you. I want a fresh anointing.
it's Amen. all about God. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man. I'm, not, I'm saying this, y'all. I don't want to see that old man uh, in 2018. I'm going I'm to start looking at some of you. Uh, you. You forgot something, brother. You forgot something, sister. Go back to the altar. Take it back. Somebody better say amen. amen. But it said, and put on that new man, which is after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Look at you can't make yourself righteous. I don't care what you say. You have to put on the righteousness of God. I don't want nobody coming to a pastor. I pray night and day. Pastor, I fast in 21 days. I read my Bible. I watch all. Don't, don't, uh -uh. don't tell me nothing. Tell it to God. Amen. Show God what you're working with. That's what you do. Amen. Amen. Because you trying to make yourself righteous in my eyesight, that's not doing any good. Because God reveals what you are really all about. Children, time to change. Time to be obedient. Children, it's time for you to pray. Time for you to read your Bible. Children, some of you turn to 16, 17, 18 next year. You becoming a woman. You becoming a man. Come on, somebody. It's time to change. Don't be the same way you used to be. It ain't about party all the time. Come on, somebody. Come on. Lord have mercy. Lord, that was a home. Out the pot. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, the grand slam. It, yeah, the the grand slam. The basis was loaded. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The basis was loaded. Yeah. That was the grand slam. All four Amen. Children, listen to me. Get closer to God yourself Amen. and start praying. Take time out, children. Listen to me. Because the devil going to have trap set. In 2018 for our children. I saw different ones falling in certain things. I said, Lord, I say, doing things. Listen, if you call yourself doing things behind mama or dad back, God shows them parents exactly what's going on. Y'all think y'all hide and everything. Come on, somebody. Y'all cut that mess out. <laughs> Do what's right in the eyesight of God.